company, it's Paula Ferris here from Positive Energy Health and Fitness and I'm here for your two o'clock press the reset button. So we're going to talk about arms today. I've got some water bottles, I've got some hand weights or I've got some tins out of the of the cupboard so you can use whatever you want you can also use nothing at all because your arms are a lever and they do weigh so you, again it's it's bearing in mind i'm not doing a warm-up with you so again just roll the shoulders if you wish just circulate those arms we're going to be loving to rest so again just march through the feet just sort of walk through just roll the shoulders a little bit they don't include a warm-up and a cool down stretch either. So again, just make sure if you are going to participate in with me today, you're happy, you're either using just your arms and then you can replay later. Um, you've got enough space and you're fitting well to exercise. If not, sit down, just watch, just... We're back on good stuff. So just absorb it if you can. Um, and then we will go through each exercise as we go. And I'll teach you the techniques and the demonstrations. So I'm just going to sort of march through a little bit. I'm going to put on a little bit of music, which has got my timings with it as well. So it just makes it a little bit easier to cope with. Okay. So you can pick up your weights if you want. If you want to just do the first set without your weights, you're more than welcome. We're going to do a deadlift to start with. So your arms are by your side, we're going to take it down into a little squat, lift and turn the arms up. So we're going to turn the arms and push. Can you see how I'm momentarily pausing in between the turnaround point? Abs are nice and tight and the arms are going in a movement where it's focused and controlled. We turn, we push. So you're adding in a shoulder press. You've got to imagine you're a weightlifter and you're picking up the big bar and you're pushing it into the air. It's a functional move. So from the side, you stick your bottom Four, out, you five, turn two, and one. you rest. Roll the shoulders. Give them a little stretch if you want to. Now, if you do want to add a little bit of resistance, you may get, get hold of your tins. We're going to do some shoulder presses. So feet Four, shoulder width five, apart, little two, bend in the knee, one. take your arms up. Now, traditionally in the gym, if I was to train someone in the gym, then what we'd look at is repetition. So we'd look at a beginner, maybe eight to 10. Depending, you can go up to 15 repetitions if you wish. Three weights are always good or independent because then you can see the difference. Now, any point you can drop and roll and then you can go back in. Keep your abs in nice and tight. Again, make sure that you're not pushing the weights in front of you into that position there or over the top and behind your head. Go straight up. Two, one. Lovely, well done. Again, you can drop your waist, you don't have to have hold of anything at all. Hi, Emma. Okay, so we're going to go into tricep kickbacks. Get so I'm just going to be in a position of a bent knee, high elbow, and we're going to take the arms back Four, and behind. Three, Look two, down at the floor, one. take it back. Now, can you see that my elbows are like a pendulum? They are not moving, it is the lower half of the arm that extends through and flexes. So you've got your extension and your flexion. The only joint should be moving is your elbow. We should be coming from the shoulder. High elbow, looking down, you extend. This is to give you lots of ideas within your workout yourself. So it's almost a compilation of all the different exercises. As you take your arm back, you really squeeze. Pulling your tummy muscles, keep your back nice and straight, four, four, looking down two, and relax, roll the shoulders. We're going to do a bent over row with the right arm first and then the left. Get ready. So I want you to just think about a straight arm four, coming three, up high, two, off one. we go. Now what we do here is we rest our other arm on our supporting leg. We try not to rotate at the top. We keep looking down at the floor and we lift our elbow high. This is exercising the muscles at your back. It's all about postural muscles, okay? Halfway. 45 
45 seconds is quite a lot of time, but you've got to remember, you've got control through the movement. Don't send your elbows out. Don't have them way out from your body. Again, all the way down, all the way up. Slow, control. If you're not using any weight at all, that's the movement with your hand. Slowly come up. You go to the other side. Okay, when you're picking things up off the floor, just be very careful. Okay, so arm nice and straight, support on the other leg. Again, keep that back flat rather than arched up. Okay, off we go, up. Doesn't matter what arm you start with. Generally speaking, a lot of people start with their strongest arm. You will realize where your strengths lie. Pull up, we're working the muscles at the back, we're working the rhomboids, which are really good muscles to work. You've got to think about squeezing your shoulder blades in. Pull up, all the way up to the top. Control, keep the tummy in tight, try not to rotate and lift. All the way up to the top. All of these are recorded, they're going to be watched later, put on the YouTube channel, Positive Energy, Health and Fitness. Lovely job. Okay, so we're moving on. We're going to take our weights. We're going to go to diamond arms. So a good foot position here. Relax and squeeze. Give the shoulders a roll. We're going to start here. We're going to go out and up. So we're introducing a little bit of lateral movement around the shoulders. If you can stay nice and still. If you do this in front of your telly that's reflective or something, you're going to be able to see whether your arms are level at the side. Diamond, so it's almost like the points of a diamond or a kite. All the way back down to the bottom, pull up. Now remember what we talked about earlier about keeping your arms level with those ears as you come up, pull up. Breathe normally through your exercises. Fantastic, well done, good job. Round one is complete. Okay, so what we're gonna do now is we're gonna roll the shoulders and we're gonna go into some flies, some chest flies. You can even use water bottles. I brought these as well, so let's have a look at these. As long as you're not gripping on for dear life. Okay, so your arms are gonna be in front. We're gonna be bent over, okay? And then we're gonna open up the chest and squeeze. Now remember, you can use nothing at all. Tummy in tight looking down at the floor. So I don't want you looking up and having your neck in an awkward position. But because we're bent over here, we're hinging from the hips. Keep that back nice and straight. If you're not happy in that position, you stand and you open. Let's go. The movement is slow and controlled. Again, you're visualizing, squeezing your shoulder blades together. I'm turning and looking at you so I can see what I'm doing, but looking down. If you don't want to bend over, you just open your arms from the front. If the weights you're holding get too heavy, you drop them down to the floor. Open, chest flies. Because of the range of movement in your shoulders, you might not get all the way up, but let's have those elbows high. Pull. Four, three, two, one. And relax. When you put things down to the floor, think about your posture as you're putting them down. Okay, we're going to go with chest press. Get ready. So your elbows are going to be nice and high. Feet in a good position. Four, three, Tummy in tight. Two, we're going to push forward and back. Now what you could do is start build up a compilation of the 10, 12 minutes that I've gone through. Of course, you can do single arm if you wish. So there's your regression through the exercise. Bring the weight level with your chest. Try and keep your elbows up. So you can maybe do a little combination. You could go back to your old school aerobics we did on Monday. You can then click on the 10 minutes abs we did Tuesday stick on some arms we did Wednesday so guess what tomorrow legs <laughs> anytime you need to drop 
your own program just through the help and the advice and the, the tips from myself so if you want more look at Paula Ferris look at positive energy health and fitness go to the YouTube channel on positive energy health and fitness there's loads more um, videos on there for you to follow so tomorrow is going to be some legs and we're just going to go through some real good booty workouts okay you don't need anything you just need you and the floor so join me at two and I'll see you then have a wonderful day I hope that's lifted your revitalized you today and you can crack on with the rest of your day take care see you tomorrow bye bye